Grace is joining us now. She's the Director of Children's Ministry at the Apostleship of Prayer. Grace speaks to us today about creating opportunities for children of God to know how precious and how powerful their prayer can be for the good of others as well as themselves. Grace, thanks so much for being with us. I'm so happy to be here. Sorry about the badger comment earlier. Oh, that's all if right. I'd only known. <laughs> I would have wore my market jersey and we would have been all set. <laughs> Tell us about the newest ministry for children at the Apostleship of Prayer. We're really excited to offer the very simple ministry of the Apostleship of Prayer to children in, in language that they can understand. Of course, the Apostleship of Prayer popularized the idea of the morning offering. So um, that's the first thing we want to do with children is encourage them to pray in the morning, first thing they do, and offer every thing that they do that day, prayers, works, joys, sufferings, uh, back to the Father as a gift from themselves. And we also, of course, at the Apostleship of Prayer are the special prayer group of the Pope. He entrusts his monthly intentions to us all over the world, and so um, we want to get children praying for those intentions. Um, and they really like to do that. It expands their worldview, and they learn that their prayers really are efficacious. Their prayers for others are powerful things. You know, all of this, the Apostleship of Prayer, the morning offering, uh, the Holy Father's intention, this all goes back to um, the, the dark ages when I was a child, because <laughs> I was taught the morning offering, and I was always reminded when I was in school of the Holy Father's intention. Mm -hmm. uh, but one of the things that's important is silence to prayer, and we don't have a heck of a lot of that anymore, you yeah. know, but uh, the theme in September is silence, and how important is that for children and adults to deep prayer? It is really important, and we often are uncomfortable with silence. I mean, if I were to sit here right now and be in silence for 30 seconds, you would probably attack me, your producer well, the director, would, yeah. the director would go crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it, we feel uh, compelled to speak, to produce something. Silence often makes us feel maybe stupid. You know, do we have nothing to say? Um, it's vulnerable because we're not sure what will happen. It's unpredictable. But it's precisely in silence that <clears throat> the scriptures show us God often visits. Uh, and many times in the, the Gospels, Jesus is seeking out silence. And after he heals people, he often tells them, don't tell anyone. There's a theme of silence. And children, believe it or not, really can learn how to pray in silence bit by bit. We all need to practice it because we're so unused to silence. Uh, but really, even very small children can practice 30 seconds at a time and then grow to a minute and it starts to feed something inside of us and we start seeking that silence when we can pray not only by speaking to God but hopefully by listening to him in our hearts where he speaks to us so intimately. Mm -hmm. Can you share some ideas of how we can instill confidence in young children that God loves them? I think there are two ways. M one is to tell children's stories. They need to have a great imagination and uh, a religious imagination, a moral imagination. So read them the Gospels. Make them know Jesus through his stories. Um, and also other stories that have really clear uh, moral implications. There's good and there's evil and um, we're on the side of good and, and God is always on the side of good. God will always win because children do suffer they know that, and uh, the more they can feel confident that no matter what they encounter, God will always be on their side. That gives them a sense of confidence. Mm -hmm. The other thing we can do to instill confidence in children is to love them, <laughs> to love them deeply. And when we make mistakes with children, like we will, uh, we apologize, and we show them that though we fail, God will always be perfect. God will always love them perfectly. Mm -hmm. You have to tell Father, Father Kabicki that we say hello. I will do that. And uh, we're going to continue to promote here the Apostleship of Prayer because of Thank its you. deep connection as well to the Holy Father who began his, his papacy, his pontificate in silence, calling the, all those people in the square to, to silently pray together uh, for Pope Benedict, his predecessor, and also for his uh, pontificate. Where can people learn more about the, the work of the Apostleship of Prayer, Grace? On our website, it's www apostleshipofprayer.org, all one word. We have lots of great resources for children, for the adults who care for children, lots of uh, videos that Father Jim puts up every day. 
It's a great website. Great. Well, Grace, thank you so much for joining us today. Very much appreciated. And keep up the great work. God bless.